Once a powerful colonial nation in the West, the Netherlands established the Dutch East India Company with national functions in 1602. It engaged in plunder and monopolistic trade in its colonies, similar to the British East India Company. However, unlike the British, the Netherlands experienced a decline in its long-standing naval dominance, and by the 1930s, the Dutch East Indies lacked sufficient military strength to respond to the situation at that time. In 1936, the Dutch East Indies Army, KNIL, planned to revitalize its military power, which had been abandoned for nearly 20 years. They purchased four Vickers tanks from the United Kingdom for testing, and the results were satisfactory to the KNIL. As a result, they placed an order for 73 light tanks. However, due to the outbreak of World War II, the United Kingdom only delivered 20 tanks. And at that time, the United States had not yet entered the war. The KNIL turned to the United States and placed a total order of 628 tanks, including 200 MTLS 1G14 tanks. The Marmon Harrington Company handled this batch of orders, and the MTLS 1G14 tank was enlarged and modified based on the CTLS light tank developed by the company in the mid-1930s. The basic weight of the CTLS light tank was 8.4 tons with a length of 3.86 meters, a width of 2.33 meters, and armor thickness ranging from 12 to 25 millimeters. Its main armament consisted of three Browning machine guns powered by a 124 horsepower gasoline engine and had a balanced suspension system. The MTLS 1G14 increased the weight to 20 tons and was powered by a 240 horsepower six cylinder liquid cooled gasoline engine with a five speed gearbox and reinforced suspension. The track width was 46 centimeters. The tank's armor was also upgraded with a thickness of 38 millimeters on the front of the hull and turret and 13 millimeters on the roof. The armor plates were riveted together. The MTLS 1G14 tank pursued firepower density excessively with a total of two 37mm automatic cannons and up to seven machine guns. Two 37mm cannons were installed side by side in the enlarged turret with a 44 x caliber barrel. Each cannon used a five-round magazine for ammunition. Three machine guns were installed in the front of the hull with two fixed and one mounted on a ball mount. A coaxial machine gun was mounted on the right side of the cannon, and a machine gun was mounted on a ball mount in the front right of the turret. Two additional machine guns could be mounted on the machine gun mounts on both sides of the rear of the turret for anti-aircraft combat. The MTLS 1G14 tank had firepower comparable to a hedgehog. However, during testing, many problems were discovered. Not to mention how a crew of four could operate so many weapons, the tank itself had many design flaws and reliability issues. The tank had only one entrance and exit at the top of the turret for the four-person crew, which was inconvenient for quick entry and exit. The narrow interior of the tank and the unreasonable driving system placed a heavy burden on the driver. Initially, operating the steering lever required a force of 100 pounds, which was later reduced to 60 pounds, but still a significant burden. The tank's power was insufficient for high-speed travel, and various mechanical failures occurred frequently, such as bursting brake drums and broken track pins. The cannon could not fire continuously due to problems with the ammunition supply system, and it could not automatically reload due to wear and other malfunctions. Due to production delays, only a small number of CTLS tanks arrived in the Dutch East Indies before the Japanese attacked Java Island. Afterward, the order was taken over by the U.S. Army, and only 125 MTLS 1G14 tanks were manufactured. In June 1942, the Netherlands established a tank unit in Suriname, South America, and 19 MTLS 1G14 tanks, along with some other tanks, were transported there. This tank unit was disbanded in 1946 and re-established the following year. The number of MTLS 1G14 tanks in their possession decreased due to rust, lack of spare parts, and other reasons, and by 1956, there were only two tanks left. 
The MTLS 1G14 tank weighed 20 tons with a length of 4.9 meters, a width of 2.64 meters, a height of 2.81 meters, and a crew of four. Its maximum speed on the highway was 40 kilometers per hour.